Hello and welcome. This time I'm going to be doing some destructive testing. I had a lot of people comment wondering if the threaded dowel was strong enough, whether that would be the weak point in the clamp. I'm not certain. I don't have any foreknowledge here. All I do know is that threaded uh, wood is fairly strong, so we're going to test that right now. First, I've got a bit of an apparatus here to check the relative strength of the clamp and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this metal bar clamp on here and I'm going to twist it down as tight as I would normally do if I'm clamping something up. Now the way this works is I've got a piece of inch and a half thick hard maple on the bottom and it's three and a half inches wide. Onto that I've nailed a couple of blocks, one on each end. On this block I have a bit of a pointer that sticks out towards the middle of this board and this is a piece of maple also except it's three quarters of an inch thick and two and a half inches wide. What I'll do is I'll put the clamp here and I'll push down, I'll squeeze and you'll see a reading on this needle and then I'll make a mark, take the clamp off, put the other clamp on and see how they compare. I'm just going to put the normal amount of pressure on that I would if I was clamping something up. Now admittedly I like to clamp things up pretty tight so I can't actually I could probably turn it a little bit more but not much. Okay. That's actually probably further than I would go. So I'm gonna make a mark there. And you can see that in the camera. Okay now I'm gonna take this clamp off and I'm going to put the other clamp on. Okay, here goes. I'm going to put, start tightening it up now. Here's something cracking. Here's something cracking. Cracking. More cracking. Oh. All right, well, we can see the extent of the damage. It pulled right clean out, it pulled right through on one side and one side only. You've got three layers of ply of wood. Two of them are going this way. One of them goes across. So that the one piece across as opposed to the two going this way weakens it. Whereas this point up here, you have two going ahead, the force is going this way, that's stronger. On the bright side, you don't have to worry about the dowel stripping out with the threads. Um, a way to strengthen that is to use thicker plywood for the build. I use quarter inch plywood just to make it a bit thinner. If you were to use half inch plywood for these outside pieces, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't break as easily. It's in for a penny, in for a pound type thing here. What I've done is I've taken the clamp and I've clamped it in my vise so that it can't move. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to strip out this dowel. See how much effort that takes. Wow, that's... I thought that it would strip out at that point because I had this whole thing clamped in here. I'm just going to undo that and it broke on both sides now. As you can see I've got to put in my vise. I'm actually going to move it a little bit further in and try to hold it and so that it's bearing full on the jaw. And now what I'm going to try to do is open this up and see how much, how much force it can take. So I'm turning it now. Something's cracking. Wow, it's really hard. I can't turn it by hand. I'm going to move the camera down so you can get a look from the side. Try it. I should be wearing a face shield or something, but this is amazing how much. Uh, this thread, how well this thread is holding up, that was absolutely no concern whatsoever. I cannot turn that. 
I get my vice grips. I got the vice grips on. And it's still not it's still not failing. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to give up. Because clearly the threaded dowel is not gonna is not gonna fail. It's actually starting to get easier now. So that means that something else is giving. That's hard again. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it there. Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, I'm really surprised how well that threading held up. It gave no signs of, of uh, failing, and that's even with the rod going askew like that. It didn't slip at all. So uh, the rest of the clamp is pretty much destroyed. So I thought I would be able to fix it after this, but I don't. It doesn't appear to be the case. So I'm not going to be able to fix this. What I will do is I'll take this and take this data that I learned from this and come up with a stronger one, one that uses half inch plywood in the critical places, which would be right here on this short jaw that is not definitely not strong enough. That's where it failed first, this is where it failed second. And I can 100% rely on the threading on this. Everything else appears to be really good. So even the handle didn't slip while I was turning it with the vice grip. So good stuff. Uh, it was something a little bit different this time. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. All right, so I'm out here in my shed. It's minus 20 uh, Celsius. That's pretty cold. I forgot to mention my all steel vise uh, in last week's video, so here it is. The thing about it is, it's out here in my shed because there's no space for the metal working table in my shop right now. At some point in the future, I'll be either building a new shop and converting that back to a garage, in which case this will go in the garage, or I will be adding on to that and then it will be going in there anyway. So. But for now, it's out here in the shed. Um, I've got a, I've got four videos on this. Three of them are for building it, and one of them demonstrates it. So I'll put a link to that in the description for you to have a better look. Basically, it works exactly the same way as it did when I first made it. I've used it quite a bit, but being out here in the shed and being so damn cold out here, I can't really use it at this time of year. See, and the steam comes out of your nose like that, like a horse, it's cold.